Welcome back, bro. Everyone has made this video. Everyone. And they've all regurgitated the same stuff. How to win in 2024. Dopamine detox. Uh, monk mode. Don't text girls, bro. Don't, don't, don't touch your wiener. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and be like... I'm not going to sit here and talk to you about if you're touching your wiener or not. Uh, I can tell you that you're going to feel much better if you don't, but I think you knew that from me before. before. I don't think we need to have an uh, intervention about your wiener touching. Everyone is regurgitating the same stuff. So I thought, since I am victorious, since this is Indicta, since we're not average, since we're searching to become the upper echelon of men, I thought I'm going to make a how to win in 2024 based on every single mindset module or the most important mindset modules of Invictus 2023. So from I started making videos in 2023 until the last video I posted, these are the most important mindset modules. And I'm going to say the title of the video, what the video was about, and that is a way for you to win in 2024. So let's get it started. I've wrote, I've wrote a list down. So number one is nobody cares about you. And it's extremely important. This was a video that I got 1.7 thousand views on and a lot of comments. A lot of people wanted to share their views on it. This is an extremely important mindset point because a lot of men go through life and they believe that everyone everyone cares about me and 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 Marie won't Marie likes me and Julie likes me and 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 you know and Marcus and 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 you know Marcus and and um Rob they also like me and everyone respects me and like every it's not all jolly out there okay there's real monsters out there there's real players out there. There's levels to this shit. And if you're watching this and you're a teenager and you believe everything is sweet, it is not. It is not. Women are ruthless. And men are also ruthless. And they might smile in your face, but understand that you, the majority of you men who's watching this, you go to bed alone and you wake up alone. And that's the mindset framing you should be when you're out there. You should understand that you're basically alone in this. That's the first thing. Well, of course you have a mom and of course you have probably have some real friends, but I'm telling you, at the end of the day, when you really, uh, you might be young watching this, I'm just going to tell you, when shit hits the fan, there's not going to be a lot of people who's a fan of you. And that's, that, that, that's just, that's just, the truth about it. The power of no. Another video I made. Which is the power of saying no. That's number two. Uh, and that is basically a video where I described the power of saying no. If you say yes to everything. It's not going to help you. And rich people. I also said this in the video. That rich people's favorite word is no. Someone says to you let's go to a party. No. Christine tells you to go to a date with her. No. Of course, you can go to a date with a girl, but if you know this is not something that is going to be, you know, it's not something that you go, it's going to be realistic. It's not something that you really want to go after. Maybe she's not that hot. Maybe you know she has behaviors you don't like. Why spend time doing it? If you know it's going to leave you heartbroken, why do it? Right? Why not work on yourself instead of then you go on a date with Christine and you guys start dating for, you know, one and a half years, and now one and a half years of your teenage years is gone, where you could have grinded, where you could, in one and a half year, you can get a great body, this is, you know, this is two years of, of building a body, right, so that's, that's the thing, it is important for you to say no to things, to, to be dialed in on the, on the, on what you're on, on what you want, your ultimate goal, number three, how to win in 2024, Understand that other people have other starting points. Right? And that is a... Uh, I don't know if that is a video I made. I think that is just a point I've made. Because I don't made a video. Uh, I, I think that's a video I should make. But understand that other people have other starting points. That means that you can go to the gym with your African friend. And he becomes bigger than you after three months. And you've been lifting for three years. People have better genetics. Some people are going to have better hair than you. Some people are going to become more jacked than you. Some people are going to have a better looking face than you. Some people are going to be taller than you. Some people are just going to naturally attract more people than you. And that's okay. 
We're all different. And don't be so egotistical that you don't understand that you have something inside you that is divine. That you don't have something inside you that is, you know, ge genetically superior to other people. That you got a gift that people look at you and think, I want that. I know you have something, but you don't see it yourself. But if I met you and I shook your hand and I, and I stand, stood there and, and I looked at you and we were talking, you know, like, hey, Victoria's blah, blah, blah. And I looked at you. I will probably find it. I will probably look at you and be like, you know, that's the thing. That's what it is. That's what you have that other people don't have. So other people have other starting points. And, and being a hater or, or being mad or being, being sad, it's not going to help you. It's because you're just going to spend your whole 2024 being jealous of other people. Number four, another point that I, I, I didn't make. It's not a video I make. It's just a point. Leave a love. <laughs> it isn't the 1800s anymore, bro. There's dating apps. There's Instagram, which is inherently a dating app. Uh, there is, you know, if you get a girl, let's say you live in Ohio and you get a girl and you're with your girl and she's so, she, she, look at her. She's so pretty. One argument and she can just leave to Dubai, get flown out, meet a six, six millionaire, you know, six foot six millionaire, billionaire who knows who, who exists. Do you think you have a chance? With your fifteen hundred dollars a month, being five foot ten, average looking face, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna just leave love, leave it, build yourself, become valuable because it's a cold world. If you want to be heartbroken, then go for it. But I'm just telling you, like you're just gonna waste your time. Okay, you get a girl, you become heartbroken, then then you back here, victorious. Um, this happened. And well, I told you, leave love and, and fall in love with your own, you know, leave love, but fall in love with your own potential. Fall in love with the man you can be physically, financially, and mentally. That's also how to win in 2024. Watch Invictus videos. Oh, well, you're just plugging yourself. I have a lot better morals and values than a lot of these other influencers. And I'm telling you, if you watch these videos that are coming out, it's probably going to be two a day. You're going to get a lot of mindset uh, mindset and advice and all these things, that ideology and, 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 you know, I wanted to say mindset modules. I've been watching too many courses, but all of these different, you know, mindset switches in you, right? And that's what you should. You should fall in love with your potential. You should fall in love with the person that you, you can become. Number five. Defeat is only psychological until you're dead. This is a video I made not long ago. Defeat is only psychological until you're dead. You're a, you're a kid. You're a teenager. You're a 20-year-old. You're a 30-year-old. You're a 40-year-old. You're a 50-year-old. You get all of these losses. Teenager, you crash your car. Did you lose? 20-year-old, you saved up a good amount of money. You lose it all in the casino. Did you lose? 30 year old. You lost your wife and your kids. Did you lose? 40 year old. You lost your legs. Did you lose? 50 year old. You got terminally sick. Did you lose? 60 year old. You got, you got, you got healthy, but now you're living below the poverty line. Did you lose? 70, you died of an early death. Did you lose? Yes. When you die, you're loose, then you're out of the game. But you can be the 50-year-old, terminally ill, uh, divorced, a legless man, and still build a billion-dollar company. And you started some company which are made of, you know, um, it's a company w w which are made of, like, it's a, it's a software which cares for other people in wheelchair. It takes care of other people in wheelchairs. And you're the legless, terminally ill, divorced CEO, and you became a billionaire. All of those losses throughout your life, and you became a billionaire when you were 50. You're never out of the game, but when you're dead, you are. I am. I said this in the video. I get. I get losses. I get lessons. I get. Uh, I. I learn. I do all this stuff and all this stuff, and I never lose. I don't. 
and I've talked to you about this. A nationalist tried to uh, uh, try to fight me, and I won the fight. And I have had other people try to fight me, and and I I do I do my moves, and I win over them here and there. And and life tries to fight me, and 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 I lose money, and I lose this, and I lose that, and all of these things. But my whole life has been a war. My whole life has been hell. But I haven't lost. Defeat is only psychological. It only it's only in your head until you're dead. Because when someone, when a couple of guys or someone or a, a kid pin me to the ground and starts hacking my brains out. When, 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 when I go out to the shop and then a couple of guys comes and they stab the living shit out of my stomach. Then I'm finished. Then I've lost. Then I bleed out on the ground and I am finished. The game is over. But until that happens, until I die, defeat is only psychological and I'm still in the game. I don't care if all of you count me out and laugh at me. I don't care. I'm still in the game. And that's how you got to think in 2024. You get that big loss in March and the big loss in June. It's not over. It's still 2024. Don't forget that. Don't crawl up in your room and drink liters of ice cream, gallons of ice cream. And just be, oh, it's so sad. I'm depressed. No, you're not it up the feet is only psychological until you're dead number six giving giving up isn't a thing right giving up isn't real and i made this video uh i made this video uh about uh, yesterday how to never quit and it's it's basically simple i, I said this the whole 2023 giving up isn't real because if you, let's say you do something that you know is going to make you happy, you do something that you know is going to be good for you, you do something you know is going to be so important for you in the future, giving up isn't real, right? Because let's say you do this thing and you say, oh, I don't want to spend 30 years because it's it's a long time. Well, if you know it's going to make your life better, you you I would spend my whole life until I die trying to get it. And also, if you give up, what's going to happen? You go to bed, you go to sleep, you sleep, and then you wake up and you're like, ah, I have no hope, I have no mission, I have no wish, I have no passion, I have no purpose, nothing. Because I decided to give up on the one thing that gave me happiness. So why not just stick with the thing that gives you happiness, right? So that's why giving up isn't real. That's why quitting isn't real. People do it, but it's stupid because he's just going to punish you more. Take it personal. Right? That's number... I should have numbered this. I haven't. Number seven. Right? Number seven. Uh, take it personal. Everything people do is personal. You get rejected by that one girl, it's personal. That guy doesn't want to start that thing with you, it's personal. Your family does, it's personal. It's all personal. They might say, oh, it's not personal. Personally, it's not It's not personal to you, but it's like me in this time. It's personal. And that's okay. And don't be mad at them. But why didn't she want you? Well, maybe because the dating market is this, this, this. Yeah, we always talk about this. I always tell you to leave love. I always tell you to be that man. I always tell you to be the man where you can find a woman that is the unicorn, that is better than everyone else, that is that has morals and values. I always talk about this. I've always said, I believe I'm the most handsome man in the world. I am, I am God's gift to this world. I believe that. But I'm not delusional. I know other people don't think the same. But you have to have that mindset. Like when you when you're thinking about this, I'm telling you. Start thinking why am I am I like you know? Do I have a masculine body? You know, do do I you know? Do I make as much money as I should? When I'm sitting with these guys, do they respect my physical and financial appearance? Maybe don't. Maybe not. Take it personal. Take it personal. Don't be the guy who's like, yeah, but people don't understand me. I'm going to find someone who understands me. And I'm going to find someone who likes me. But no. You should take it personal. Use that as motivation. Use it as fuel and become better in 2024. Whatever that is. 
If you understand that everyone thinks you're fat, lose the weight. I can help you. DM me on Instagram. Link is in the description. If you want someone to think that you don't want you to look like a skeleton and don't want you to be skinny, DM me on Instagram. Link is in the description. I'll help you. But I'll tell you this. It's on you. It's on you to change. It's on you to become better. It's on you. No one else. No one's going to do it for you. You're going to do it. And that's going to create character. That's going to be, that's going to make you better. If you hide, it doesn't go away. That's the next one. If you hide, it doesn't go away. A lot of people do this. I don't make enough money. Well, I'm just going to go and play video games. I can't get a girl. So I'm just going to fap. And they go into their little shame corner. And they do the deed. You know... If you hide, it doesn't go away. If you hide for 30 years, your financial position isn't going to change. A lot of people think this. And you might watch this video and be like, no one thinks that. What are you talking about? It's a stupid point. No, there is a lot of people who think that. Well, if I just hang in there, I'll be 30, 40, and then the money will come. Uh, buddy, buddy, it's not. It's not how it works. What you put in will come out when you're 30, 40. If you put in a lot in your teens and 20s, in your 30s and 40s, you're going to have a lot. Yeah. But if you put in nothing, you're going to get out nothing. You're actually going to get out a lot. A lot of problems. That's what you're going to get out. When you find out that, you know, I'm not eligible to reproduction. I'm not eligible to reproduce. And I can't find a mate where I think our kids will be fantastical. Wow. That hurts. You should have maybe taken it personal and you should have not sat there and hide and hid away from all your problems. Be like, I'm just hiding away. Because people don't say they're hiding. They just say, ah, oh, I got problems with my money. But I'm just going to go on the weekend, get drunk, spend more money. Maybe I get a girl. I can just be drunk and then drown in her stinky hole and everything's going to be good. It doesn't work like that. If you hide, it doesn't go away. If you hide, your problems doesn't go away. Your problems go away when you face them. Next, there is always opportunities. Don't rush, don't take stupid decisions. There's always opportunities. Stock market booms. Crypto booms. Real estate booms. And then there's uh, a lot of services that is needed. And then products boom because they, they open the supply chain. And then oil boom. And then gold boom. And then airplane sector boom. And then this boom. It's always opportunities, bro. That's something I've learned. If you see an opportunity, you can just be damn sure that there will be another opportunity in three months. And if you look at your money and you're like, I'm a little short on capital. I'm a little short on funds. I'm not going to rush. And, and, the, and the opportunity is going to be there like, come, come here, come here. Do a foolish decision. Spend on me. And then you take the opportunity you spend six months, uh, two, three, four months after, you haven't made a lot of money because it's a steady opportunity. It's going to pay off in two years. Uh, it's going to pay off a little bit. And then, you know, for two years, it's going to pay off. And then after three, four months, you have a bill that you knew would come. And I have to sell all your stocks and put it into the bill and be like, ah, oh, it's stupid. And then the new, uh, the new opportunity comes after three months. And that is opportunity where you can make a buck ton of money in 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 crypto for a couple in a couple of months right so there's always opportunity so just go in opportunity when you know what you're doing when you know that this is what i want not just rush into it because this is the opportunity of a lifetime it isn't there's always opportunity if you're a guy who's reading and researching and who's always on top of his stuff and always with people there's always opportunities always and you have to be abundant in that and that is how you win in 2024, really. Be abundant in the opportunities because 2024 is going to have a lot. It's going to have lowering interest rates. There are going to be stocks. There are going to be cryptos. There's going to be real estate. There's going to be so many different investments you can do. And then let's say you do, you're doing your business and you keep putting your money into your business, but you're looking at all these opportunities. See, see. This is your business. This is all the opportunities. Everyone here is like, come, buy here, buy here. It's better for you. Buy here, buy here. Tunnel vision on what you're for. Tunnel vision on what the fuck you're on. 
There's opportunities. There are, there's opportunities. There are opportunities. Opportunities. I'm spending my money on my business. I don't care about you. Get away from me. Get away. Right? And that, that's how you got to be in 2024. Because there's going to be so many opportunities with lowering interest rates. 100%. Crypto, stocks, real estate, you name it. Starting other types of businesses that is going to be like barely, like big businesses that are nearly for free. There's going to be so many different AI products that's going to come out. If you have a business, tunnel vision, focus on that. Next, how to win in 2024. One day you won't be able to do this anymore. So this is a mindset switch. You might sit and think, oh, I got to go to the gym. Ah, oh, I got to work on this. Oh, there's three videos I have to put out on the page. Ah, oh, I have to write the blog. One day you will sit there and be like, I remember when I could go to the gym. I remember, like, I remember just dropping three scoops of pre in me and just hit the weights and listen to funk. That was a good time. Get a big pump. Ah. Oh. I remember when I was writing all this stuff and all of these people would comment and we would have discussions oh, and I would make these videos. I had a full set of hair and I would make these videos and I would find so much passion. I was just this young man on the mission. Oh, I was so good. And you're like 77 in a retirement home talking about this. Yeah, but I wish I was happy for it because now I'm old and this stuff. And I always think about this. When I think about doing work, I always think about this. Yes, I get to go to the gym because my body works and I'm not 77. Yes, I get to make those videos and I get to write these things and I and I get to make all these different things and I get to do this and I get to get these comments from people and I get to answer. And if you look at life like that, it's going to help you a lot. Be grateful for it because one day you won't be able to do this. I promise you, one day you won't be able to do this anymore. And then you're going to be, then you're going to regret that you didn't enjoy the process, the journey. This video got a little bit long. I have the rest of the list, but I think I'm going to make a part two. So if you want to see that, just uh, subscribe so you can get the part two. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Comment down below. What was your favorite uh, you know, what was your favorite, what, what can I call it? Like for real, like mindset switch to win in 2024 based on my 2023 videos. I'm going to make a part two. Now I'm going to plug myself in the link in the description. There is link to my TikTok. There's a link so you can DM me on Instagram. If you want to hit your fitness goals in 2024, I promise you that you and me can hit your fitness goals or else you get all of your money back. Promise you. That's uh, all of it. There's going to be a full free YouTube course. Uh, that's going to come out in January. Full free YouTube course. Everything I know about bodybuilding. Right? Take care of yourself, bro. Stay awake, not woke. And you know, 2024, you push the gas. Go 10 times harder. Dial in. This is the year for the winners. This is the year you win.